Okay, so escaping the relapse cycle. Now, first of all, what is it? So we're talking here about nofap and the relapse cycle is pretty much you get a trigger. Let's say you're scrolling through Instagram, you see a model, you see something that is sexually provocative that triggers and then it goes over to an urge. You get an urge to masturbate, to watch porn. And then that results in a relapse. It does or it doesn't result in a relapse. But if it does, and if you then continue to relapse, you relapse once, then, then you say, ah, I already relapsed, I already failed, it doesn't matter if I do it again. Then you do that, then the other day comes, you feel bad about it, but you still do it because, oh, it's not a big streak, whatever, I can just start tomorrow. And then you get what I'm saying, you get stuck in that relapse cycle. So how do you escape it? Well, it can be difficult and let's start with the most important thing that I mentioned in every single one of my NoFap videos and that is to find or create a reason for doing NoFap. So if it was at first in the beginning like it is for most young men who start NoFap or just men in general who start NoFap. The main reason is usually erectile dysfunction, the porn induced erectile dysfunction. You just, you poison your mind to find porn and masturbation and the touch of yourself sexual instead of finding that kind of those sexual feelings in another human, in, the, in that mutual connection, in the touch of another person. So when you get that porn induced erectile dysfunction, then it kind of is a very strong reason to not kind of find yourself in that relapse cycle. Because if you write it down, if you put it somewhere visible or just keep it as a reminder, you, you then minimize your chances of relapse, relapsing by a lot. Trust me, when, it, when you're a young guy and your, let's say, dick doesn't work, you're very motivated to fix this problem, like extremely motivated. So if you're struggling with that and start starting NoFap is, is going to be not that difficult for you because you have this burning desire to overcome this, to regain your masculinity. If it's something else, if it's something spiritual, if it's something religious, if it's something like to gain more focus, to save more time, you know, these are not as extreme reasons for doing something to be always motivated. Like for me, it was originally, it was to fix my porn induced erectile dysfunction. And once I fixed it, like I found myself that it, it got really easy to kind of use my impulses and relapse more often. Because, well, I already fixed it. You know, your mind kind of subconsciously says, okay, you fixed it. It doesn't matter if you relapse this one time. You can go on another streak and just, you know, be healed forever or something like that. Probably subconscious. But you then have to make new reasons for not find, to not find yourself in that relapse cycle. And for quite some time now, I found myself in that relapse cycle for like like two or three months ago, I was in a relapse cycle or four months ago, I was in a relapse cycle, like a lot, you know, I would relapse every a couple couple days, then maybe once a week, maybe once two weeks. But you know, this just now my kind of ratio is relapse one time a month, you know. And I know what you're probably thinking, oh, that's bad. You need to go to 500 days and whatever. I mean, yeah, it just, it means that, yeah, I, I lack discipline sometimes. Like I, I have to accept that about myself, but of course to try to always be better. But you know, what I found is to just compare myself to who I was yesterday and not to who someone else is today. Like comparing myself to that guy three years ago or two years ago who was masturbating three times per day and now to just doing that one time a month is nothing like it's really nothing compared to that 
So, and of course, I'm always trying to go just porn free, ma masturbation free, as long as I can, you know, but sexuality is a strong impulse. So, uh, so yeah, but a relapse cycle is when you just get stuck in that, well, three, doing that three times a day, then doing it another day, then saying, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. That's the relapse cycle. You know, if you just uh, relapse every two weeks or a month or longer, you know, that's not a relapse cycle. If, if you just, well, here's how it is. NoFap is kind of, there's a hierarchy of discipline. So, you know, we measure it by days. You know, if somebody has 100 days and somebody has 30 days, the guy on 100 days, you know, is more disciplined. But that's, that is true. That is true. You know, and that discipline, you should look at it like this. If you just don't masturbate, you go, yeah, 100 days plus whatever, you consider yourself disciplined. But if you relapse, still consider yourself disciplined because not many people are willing to go that far. Not even 30 days, you know. Many people just fail early, early on and keep relapsing, keep being stuck in that. But if you relapse in that, okay, you lost that discipline at the moment. But if you just then get this mentality, like this is the poisonous mentality that like instantly goes in your head to just do that again and not to worry. You can, you can relapse again. You've been on a long streak. You can give yourself a break. Like that is false. That is just seducing your minds, some kind of devil voice. So if you relapse, just be at that, start again, go again. Try to go over those 100 days, try to go for 60 days. I don't know. Get that long term goal, but not don't let yourself relapse because that is just an easy way to just reduce all of the benefits and just get back into that lifestyle, that that disgusting lifestyle of just always playing video games, masturbating, not doing anything productive, not having any ambition not learning, not reading philosophy, nothing, just I'm um, sad, uh, life kind of sucks and then go masturbate. Don't get stuck in that. That is just, that is the vicious cycle of that, of that relapse cycle that sucks you into that. So here's like the main thing that I discovered recently of how you can just really escape the relapse cycle. For me, it was this I created a group, Disciples of Life, uh, my Discord community server. And before you click off this video, uh, I'm going to let you know that it's free. And in that group, like, I think I discovered like a new layer of self-improvement. It's with this community. The most important thing there is accountability. What we do is we, let's say I'm on day 14, 15 now, something like that. So I say, oh, day 15, check in every day, you know, and just always check in to remind yourself that you're on this journey. And then you see others check in as well. Day 60, day 30, you know, they check in, everybody checks in, you're being held accountable. You don't want to let anybody down. Nobody wants to let down others. So this creates this kind of tribe mentality. With, with other men. So I, I would highly recommend joining Disciples of, of Life, our Discord uh, community server. In the description down below, there's a link. Um, and like I said, it's free. So all you're going to get from that, you're not going to lose anything. You're just going to gain things. You're just going to gain, well, the improvement, the, the accountability. Like there's there's something really special about bringing men uh, through the use of technology um, that you wouldn't you wouldn't uh, like get a chance to get everybody in one place, like-minded people, to discuss these things, discuss philosophy, discuss productivity, self-improvement, and of course the NoFap part. You're you're not going to get it anywhere else but through technology nowadays to just. Of course, you can create a community 
in real life. That's probably better. But here we have this opportunity of connection with people from all over the world, you know, not just in your area. So you have this opportunity to learn from different cultures as well and to find what, how, like what, why other people are doing this, why other men are doing nofap. For some, yes, to fix that porn induced erectile dysfunction, but for others, maybe it's something more bigger, something more spiritual, you know, just discipline. Just, and then you start to talk about philosophy and other stuff. Like that is how, like for me, if you're disagreeable, if, you're, if you know about the big five personality test, do that. And if you're disagreeable and you're most likely are, if you're a male and watching this video, if you're disagreeable, then you need competition in your life. Like that's why I love jujitsu th this much nowadays. And I, you, I'd been through a lot of sports and I didn't really like it. I always thought that I don't like sports. I don't know why I thought that, but just starting jujitsu, jujitsu, having that competition, you know, you're there, you're fighting another person, but you're also fighting yourself. You're climbing that hierarchy, you know, that is competition. And that is how it's translated into disciples of life. I mean, yeah, there's the community and everybody helps each other, but there's also this aspect of competition and accountability that I'm talking about here. So if you want to that add that one layer of just avoiding urges, I mean, not avoiding, but dealing with urges and improving at the same time, I would highly suggest, even if you don't want to join our Discord community server, you can just find a friend and uh, if he or she's, <laughs> she probably not, but he is doing no fab, you know, you can just say, okay, hold me accountable, you know, make up some punishment or whatever. If you just, uh, if I relapse, but just have that accountability in your life. That's the message with this video. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe for more weekly self-improvement content. If you want, you can support this channel both on Patreon and PayPal and all the links are going to be in the description down below as well with my Instagram and the Disciples of Life Discord community server links. So I hope you join us and thank you for watching this video again and stay on your journey.